Hi everybody, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. And today we're gonna put to rest all of the issues and questions and concerns that you guys may have on swing plane. Now we hear a lot about swing plane out in the golf industry right now, and it's a real smorgasbord, okay? You've got the one plane and two plane guys, you've got the guys who put the lines behind you and you gotta be on the line and all that stuff. I am here today to show you guys how to feel when you're on plane or not, all right? So in my, uh, in my video entitled uh, Feel and Let the Hammer Through, I touch a little bit about that right there, but you, you guys really need to feel how this works. So I want you to get your rubber mallet and set up with your door frame at home, and I'm gonna show you swing plane with all kinds of different clubs and all kinds of different situations. So let's say I'm setting up right here to hammer a nail into the door frame from this height, right? I could do it from this height, and I can do it from this height right here. So I want to feel, now imagine you've got a three inch nail that you're going to drill one shot into, a, into that door frame. You're going to take your heavy hammer, and you want to feel that you're using the weight of that heavy hammer to drill that nail into the door frame. Now this, this is the only place I can put this hammer. If I bring the hammer more in here, you can see right now that if I apply some energy or I let the, I let the weight of the hammer come down, I'm gonna be bending across that nail. If I bring the, the hammer more out here, I'm gonna bend across the nail. So from here, this is the only place I can do it. So this would be the equivalent of a sand wedge or a pitching wedge. So here it is. Right? Now, if I bring it up here, get myself a little further away, you can see if I needed to hit this spot there that that would not match, would it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the hammer up right there. If I set it up here, you can see how, if I'm too close, how it's all bunched up. And if I'm too far, I'm lunging for it. I wanna feel like I'm gonna use the weight of the hammer to hammer that spot. See where that is now? This is the only place I feel I can be to use the weight of my hammer to hammer that spot into the door frame. So if I bring it back here, come back closer to there, and I try to hit that spot, well, I'm gonna have some fancy rerouting to do, aren't I, all right? So you've got your wedge, you got your seven iron, you got your driver, all right? So now you take your golf club. So if I take my wedge and I set up with my wedge to the bottom of this door frame, where does it feel I need to be to use the weight of my hammer to find my door frame? If I'm too low and I let the weight of the hammer fall, see how I'm gonna hit the ground? I'm gonna hit the floor before the door frame? This is the only place I can be to use the weight of the hammer. If I take my driver, This is the only place I can be to use the weight of my driver. See where I am now? Okay. So if you drift away from the door frame, you're going to feel it's really cool here. If I set up on this side of the door frame, if I drift away from the door frame, I can't use the weight of the hammer now, can I? I'm gonna have to hold the weight of the hammer all the way into the door frame. If I get it in front of the door frame, now I have to reach back in order to get the nail. I can't use the weight of the door frame, the weight of the hammer to do that. So here's a situation for you. Let's say I have the ball way below my feet. I wanna use the weight of my arm club unit to catch that spot right here, right? Through that, through that ball towards the target. So I'm gonna feel the weight of my arm club unit. Yep, that's the only spot I feel I can be to use the weight to hit that spot. Boom, that was perfect. So notice now I went from a sand wedge or less than a sand wedge, and if I had the ball above my feet, that's the only place I feel I can be to use the weight of my club to swing through that ball. See how that works? 
So get out there, try that out. If you have any questions, let me know. You guys are going to love this, all right? Feel the weight of that hammer. Do your work. See you later.